I've been through the hells of addiction um, and I'm in recovery now long term. So I know exactly what people are feeling and I can really relate. Ascension Recovery Services wants to expand access to care across West Virginia, across the country, so that anybody struggling with addiction that wants help can get it. I'm Doug Leach, I'm the founder and CEO of Ascension Recovery Services, and this is our Uncommon Story. At Ascension Recovery Services, we have two divisions in our company, clinical services and program development. We provide drug and alcohol interventions, ongoing monitoring services, treatment placements, uh, outpatient therapy. We also design and develop treatment centers nationally. I grew up in Morgantown, West Virginia. Went to high school here, played sports, really had a great childhood. Good kid, didn't really get into too much trouble. After high school, I went away to college and I was away from home and had some freedom. I started to drink throughout my uh, college and drinking week just got longer and longer. First time I ever had pain pills, I had a broken nose and I got a prescription and as soon as I used all that was in the prescription, I called the doctor back and needed a refill. In the blink of an eye, it went from being a fun thing to I needed to take these pills in order to not feel sick. If I didn't have them, I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. I was not working. I was couch surfing, looking for drugs, trying to swindle people out of money to get drugs, uh, whatever I could do. Finally got arrested, growing up in a good family and never getting into trouble, and then all of a sudden I'm hooked on drugs, not working, and in jail was really my rock bottom. There were no options for me in, in West Virginia. There was very limited residential treatment centers. I was one of the lucky ones that had a family that could pay for me to go out of state to treatment. My experience uh, in Minnesota, going through treatment, then the halfway house, and then a sober house, it was, it was so incredible. I, I wanted other people to have that opportunity. When I came back to Morgantown, I went to work at a CPA firm, but I just really didn't have the heart for it anymore. You know, my passion was really, how do we fill these gaps in care? Um, there was no sober homes in the area. You know, there really wasn't anything within a couple hour drive. And the first thing I worked on was uh, the men's home for Morgantown Sober Living. There was a small pocket that was very outspoken and against it, but um, I knew that I was doing the right thing. I knew how much it helped me. I knew we were going to be an asset to the community, so we just pushed forward. Ascension was formed in January of 2016, and my entire purpose and mission with Ascension was to improve access to care, not only in West Virginia, but around the country. Most of the folks that work for Ascension are in recovery. The ones that are not in recovery uh, have a heart for it and are just very passionate about helping those that are struggling. We're trying to transform lives and communities. Um, you know, it's not just about the person affected, it really affects the family, the community as a whole. You see people go into this program, their lives are transformed, they leave the program, they're happy, they rejoin their families. I mean, that's really making a difference. If someone were to ask me what's, what's the best thing I've done, it's, it's create a workforce uh, here at Ascension that is like a second family to all of us. Um, you know, we all really support each other, we hire people in recovery, and that in and of itself is a success. I, I now have a, a, a real purpose in life. Um, I can't imagine doing anything else, and I wouldn't do anything else. I'm grateful that I have a job and I can pay my bills, but uh, it's so much more than that.